Hey everybody, welcome back to Live to Fish and the 451st attempt at doing this video. I'm in the shop today and I want to talk about one of the most controversial fishing seasons in the entire state of Florida, and that's Red Snapper. Uh, if you like to watch people argue and you've run out of reruns of the Real Housewives of some stupid place, just go to a tackle shop and say the words Red Snapper and watch people lose their minds because everybody's got an opinion. I have an opinion, but I'm not going to share it with you because it really doesn't matter. What does matter is make sure to check the regulations because they can change. June 11th, you can go out and catch Red Snapper, I think, until July the 20th. Make sure you check with MyFWC.com. What rig are you going to take with you? Well, let's talk about conventional. Uh, this is a Shimano Torium 20HG, which is a fairly high-speed reel, 6.2 to 1 gear ratio. And I got it on a Shimano Therese 30-pound class rod. This is perfect for getting out there and catching Red Snapper. Now, if you say, well, I really don't like conventional rods and reels, which is fine. <clears throat> you want to do something spinning? I actually prefer spinning myself. Go with something like this. This is the... Quantum Cabo 50. Uh, big beefy drag, well-built reel, and I got this one on a star rod, seven foot, 30 pound class rod. And again, with star rods, what's cool is if by chance it were to break, you bring it back to me, you don't have to send it back to the manufacturer. Now, what do you need to have with you? Well, first off, if you're gonna use live bait or natural bait, you gotta have circle hooks, because it's the law. You also wanna kinda of downsize your weight a little bit, because a lot of times, with a, with a red snapper, where well, you're going to find them on the same areas where you're going to see your grouper, they're going to be a little bit higher in the water column. So with lighter weight, you can actually get them as that bait's dropping, which is where you're going to get most of your hits. If you want to use artificial, one of the best things to use, try a bucktail or, or a, uh, like a spro bucktail. Great, great way to, to get out there and, and get them just bouncing around near the bottom. Uh, if you want to chum them up towards you, you can use something like this. This is snapper up chum. This is uh, uh, something you put it all together, drop it down in the water column, it's gonna get the fish all fired up. Now, if you're using um, uh, something like, for instance, Purina Tropical Fish Fruit, you like to make your own chum, uh, add some Menhaden milk to it. Menhaden milk is great because it sinks in the water column compared to Menhaden oil, which goes on the top. And then one of the most important things is fluorocarbon leader. Fluorocarbon leader is virtually invisible in the water column. And when you're using that snapper, which have really good eyesight, it's harder for them to see it, they can become kind of line shy. So those are some things you need to do to go out and catch Red Snapper. They taste really good. Make sure you bring me a filet and uh, come by 9942 State Road 52 in Hudson. You can check these stuff out at livetofish.com. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel at livetofish.com slash YouTube. Facebook, leave a comment below and let the arguing ensue.